Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Ruben Neves. William Carvalho. Silva. Bruno Fernandes. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Fluency of movement. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. For all the newest and latest and tidy on the ball, please visit any souvenir stand on the concourse. Uh, on the scent of something positive. Ronaldo. On to Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Vinicius Junior. Really getting stuck in. Must take the lead here. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and the finish is so clever. He just gets his toe under the ball and thinks it over the keeper. That's a lovely goal. And Portugal gets the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? And scope for them to produce something exciting. Leal. On to Ronaldo. This could square the game. Oh, God, it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Uh, back underway, one goal apiece here. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Casemiro. Neymar. Bruno Fernandes. Rafael Leao. The ball back with Brazil here. Now can they make something happen? A fine reading of the situation. Rafinha. Neymar. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And he's fired it against the post. Silva. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. May I please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form and offenders will be removed from the stadium. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Decent position. And the goalkeeper under no pressure. Casemiro. Fred. Well, that was a beautiful challenge from William Carvalho. Cristiano Ronaldo. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, we're into the final half hour. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Now with Ronaldo. Can they forge ahead? And a touch off the defender, last of all. So a corner. Well, they fancy a short one. Neves. Shot attempted. A really 
good reflexes and danger averted. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Now, who can he play it to? He takes aim. Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Now, just the tackle that was needed. The first and we will have just one additional minute. Fred. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today.